Thank you for joining us. Over the past four weeks, three high school and three college students have rotated through cell culture, cytogenetics, molecular bio, stem cell, in addition to meeting with HR, IT, um, leadership, and project managers. And today, they're going to tell you what they believe the impact Coriel has on society. Cytogeneticists use fluorescence in situ hybridization to observe these homologous segments in many different types of placental mammals which are also known as eutherians. So, and you can see that here when you see human probes, S HSA-1 and HSA-19 on, on a manatee on the left and on an aardvark on the right. These are present in humans as well as are present in these animals. Now, why do I say this? Why does this matter? What effect does this have on us? It, this is the reason I say it. Because in looking at these comparisons and looking at the similarities, we can reconstruct the ancestral mammalian genome. We can go back in time and see what our ancestors' chromosomes looked like, and we can fill in the gaps in evolution. Um, and genetic, genomic testing can lead to more precautions being taken by patients. And Coriel recently partnered up with the United States Air Force, and medical personnel interested in participating in the CPMC study are able to volunteer. And what the hope of this study is, is to see how the information that people receive from their analysis changes their lifestyle. What they want to do to prevent themselves from, say, getting, going back to the other slide, the high risk for uh, diabetes. There are a lot of challenges that um, come with bioartificial organs. The first is a shortage of organ donations. So if you don't use a synth synthetic um, scaffolding, you're still going to have the same problem with waiting for transplants. The second is that scientists have only succeeded in transplanting tracheae, and the other organs that they've made were simply in a lab they never actually transplanted them into patients. And it's still a very new process. It'll take a lot of time before this becomes like routine in hospitals. So Coriel plays a big part in this. The uh, California Institute of Regenerative Medicine awarded Coriel $10 million to partner up with Cellular Dynamic International to create 3,000 different stem cell lines for research and use for bio um, artificial organs. This is an example of a 49 year old woman named Karen who had blood clots in her lungs. She was rushed to the hospital and described warfarin, it was described warfarin, a blood thinner by her doctor. She returned home and she was able to breathe again, but then a week later was brought back to the hospital because she was too weak to walk and had blood in her urine. Her doctor then conducted a genetic test for warfarin and later learned that she was hypersensitive to the drug and needed a lower dose. So the direction that molecular biology seems to be headed is in a direction where they will be focusing more on longitudinal studies. And these are very important because this allows researchers to understand um, a disease in a more comprehensive manner. They can understand what's happening in the onset of the disease, during the disease, and maybe after, if there is in fact a cure. So they seem to be using um, RNA samples as well as cerebrospinal fluid, mainly because these are more dynamic structures of DNA. They have a gene regulation that seems to change a lot more frequently. So certain genes are upregulated or downregulated. And by studying this, it gives them a lot more information as to what's going on Whereas with DNA, it's very constant and they have less information from that type of sample. Also looking forward, there's a lot of issues to be overcome because this is a very new field. For instance, who should have access to someone's genotype? It's a very personal thing and it means a lot. It has to be regulated, so should the government have access? Should insurance companies have access? GINA is an act that prevents them from discriminating against anybody's genetic differences. However, Maybe, for instance, they could provide benefits for someone with a higher risk who takes care of themselves, is more proactive in their health. 